Just knowing the essentials can go a long way in your professional education. Let's talk about a scenario to, make, to have this make sense. I mean, I'll, I'll give you a story. You've got your most important client coming tonight. All right, you're, you're going to take him out to dinner. He arrives in town soon. You're at home and you're getting dressed. You're matching your suit with your tie. Uh, you're, you're looking sharp. Your shoes are shined. Uh, you arrive at the restaurant uh, and he pulls up. All right, he comes out. You, you give a firm handshake because you know that executives understand that etiquette. Uh, you're, of course, your tie looks good and matches because you also understand that etiquette. You're not wearing brown shoes with your black suit because, again, you understand how to conduct yourself in a professional context. Uh, then you go inside and you have a seat and you sit at the table and your client says, you know what, I think I'm in the mood for Bordeaux. Do you know what he means by that? What grapes are in Bordeaux? If Bordeaux isn't on the menu but other wines listed by the grape are, for example, can you substitute? Do you understand? Then he says, no, you know what, I'm thinking, actually I changed my mind, I think I'll switch to a Rhone Valley wine. Uh, do you know what that means? Now, the waiter hands you the wine list and he says, what would you like to select? You know, I mean, you're the host, you're, you're, you're taking your client out uh, for dinner. How do you pick from the Rhone wines? Uh, there are northern Rhone wines, there are southern Rhone wines. In fact, there are Rhone wines that are white, there are Rhone wines that are red. There are some Rhone wines that blend white and red. Uh, how do you select from these? Well, let's say they don't have Rhone wines. Are you aware that many Rhone wines are grown, you know, the same grapes are grown elsewhere in the world? These are opportunities for you to demonstrate that you speak the language. There are opportunities also to avoid, uh, you know, let's say, avoid areas where your etiquette gaps could be, could be exposed. Let's say that your client knows this more than you do, and he takes control, and he decides to order uh, a very good pairing with your, with your foie gras. He orders you something, a bottle called Chateau Dicam. Yeah, and perhaps you haven't heard of it. Yeah, and, and in fact, if you're not uh, knowledgeable about wine, you probably haven't. Uh, when that comes to the table, your client, you notice that he feels rather important. He's waiting for a response from you. He's looking to see if you recognize the gesture that he just made, and the truth is you don't. Because you don't know that Chateau de Chem is one of the most collectible bottles in the world. It's also born to be paired with foie gras, and your client just made this gesture. Now, so these are areas where, again, you have lost opportunities or you fail to recognize things that perhaps you otherwise could have. You know, so you go back to the bathroom, you try to collect yourself, and you realize it's getting a little bit hot under the collar of your suit that matches your tie and your shoes that match your suit, but the other aspects of the eating aren't going quite as well as you had hoped, or they could be a lot better had you been able to connect by speaking this language. So how can you do this? Well, the truth is you don't need to know everything, just the essentials. And when we say the essentials, what are the executive essentials? Well, you need to understand, firstly, what are the grapes in a given region? What are they? That's important to know. Secondly, what are the flavors and aromas you could expect in that, in that wine? Uh, so if someone's ordering a Bordeaux, what can you expect in that wine? Thirdly, how do I pair that wine with food, and how do I pair food with that wine? What would make sense? Uh, what goes with that? You know, if I'm ordering for, for my clients, or if, my, uh, if I'm matching something of theirs, how do I do it? And fourthly, what are the bottles you really need to know? What are the, the Rolex and Gucci and Prada brands that, that your clients may know but you may not know? Uh, the wines that you should recognize on the menu, and those that you should understand if a gesture is made, you should be able to acknowledge them. Now, now, beyond the four essentials that I listed, there are a lot of essentials specific to a region. Is there a bit of history? Are there certain things that, you know, that would help you get some color to the conversation? And sometimes knowing those can be a very important place of rapport. If your client comes in and he's from Tuscany, and you understand the story behind the Tuscan grapes and the Tuscan winemaking, uh, this can also add something to your conversation and help you to connect. So here, it isn't the case that you need to know everything. All right, wine, uh, it, you know, wine is, a, is a very big world. You don't need to know everything. And you certainly never want to run the risk of becoming the ugliest animal on the planet, namely the wine snob. But you do need to know the essentials.